ready to work on my tower garden again. I've got the water in the reservoir and it's all set up sitting outside ready for me to get going with putting some plants in there. So I wanted to do a quick video um, to quickly discuss the uh, tower tonic. Now again, all this stuff comes with the tower garden kit. Everything is included. I didn't have to go outside to any store to buy anything separate or to search for anything. So, real quick, um, the tower garden tonic, or the tower tonic, is basically there to provide the nutrients to the plants. The plants are not going in soil, they're not in the ground, so they're good. it's an it's a aeroponic system. So the water is going to be flowing through the tower to, through the roots, and the roots are going to need nutrients, and this is what's going to provide that. Now the tower uh, tonic A formula, um, just looking here, it basically has nitrogen, has some calcium, has some iron, it has, again, nutrients that's needed for uh, growing the plants. And then tower tonic B here, again, has phosphate, um, magnesium, sulfur, boron, mag uh, manganese, uh, zinc, something else that I can't say. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that's what these are for. That's, it's, it's basically the food, the nutrients for the plants. Um, and another thing that comes with it is a pH tester and an acid and a base. Yeah, acid and a base. Okay, so when, we, when I go to put in, and I'm getting ready to do that now, when I go to put in the nutrients, I'm also going to test the water um, to make sure that it's not too high of a pH or too low of a pH, keep it in the right order, or is in the right uh, range. Um, have a measuring cup, again, came with the system, and yeah, so I'm ready to go. Get ready to do that, and so stay tuned in just a minute. You'll see, um, see how I get it done. Okay, so now I'm adding the solution to the reservoir. I'm going to start with the tonic A and measure that out. I went with um, 200 milliliters. And it's going to be the same amount of the tonic B solution. So I'm just pouring it in. As you can see, I don't have to take apart the tower garden to put water or anything in it. It has a little section there for me to be able to put my water and my solutions. And um, so now I'm putting in the tonic B, measuring that out. This is so simple, guys. This is just so simple, and I, I'm really enjoying <laughs> the fact that of how simple it is. So now I'm stirring it up, making sure it's all um, mixed in with the water. It's about 20 gallons of water in the in the reservoir. So now I'm putting in the B. And um, as I mentioned earlier, it comes with a pH testing kit. So once I finish stirring it up, I'm going to go ahead and test the pH, make sure we're good and then get ready to plant my um, my plants. Okay, so I'm stirring it, pretty much done with that, and now I'm getting ready to test the pH. I'm gonna get a little bit of the water, put it in the vial that it came with. I believe it's like five milliliters. And then I have my testing solution there, so I'm going to test it. Put about five drops. You see, I read directions, making sure. So this is just, what, a little bit of chemistry um, involved, not much, it's not very difficult to test the pH. Um, I have a chart that it came with so I can see and um, we want the water to be in between uh, 6.5 and 5.5. So you can see it's like a dark green 
And based on my scale, it looks like we are at, it's kind of dark, so we're kind of around the seven, about seven, which is still a little too uh, high. So we're gonna have to, um, to add some acid to it, which is what I'm um, reviewing now, I'm just double checking. So, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of acid to the water um, to bring the pH down a little bit. And it's got about half a teaspoon there, so I'm gonna put a teaspoon into the water, then I'll stir it up. Now, as you can see, I didn't mention earlier that I have gloves on. It's recommended that gloves are worn while you're dealing with the, the tonic acids and bases. So um, it could harm, it could be harmful to skin and eyes. So you want to be careful if you are dealing with the tonic and the acid and bases to make sure that you're wearing the right protective gear. All right, so I put my acid in. I'm going to go ahead and stir that around, try to get that switched into the, uh, the full 20 gallons of water that's in there. And then I'm going to test it again. So I've got to go clean out my vial and, um, and get that ready to do one more test. Okay, so now I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and test this again. Hopefully we're good and um, I can get started with planning my my seedlings but as you can see this is not taking very long at all and it's not difficult okay so I put my drops in I'm gonna shake up my valve a little bit and let's see where we are on the chart now. Hopefully we are between 6.5 and 5.5. And I'm thinking we're good. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, we're definitely lower on the chart. Oops. Okay. So I think we did it. We got it. We're done right at the 5.5. Thanks guys.